Good morning, Beck Revit users. Today I want to show you how to work with curtain wall doors. We're going to start a new Beck project, and in a previous video I showed you how to get the latest Beck documentation template from Unify. You can look that up on Unify if you need to see that video. Take a couple seconds here to start the new project. While we're waiting, I do get a lot of uh, questions about curtain wall doors at Beck and how to utilize the mullions and all that. So that's why I want to show you this video. All right, so let's start. We go to design floor plan. Going to go to the wall tool, and I'm going to type in CW for curtain wall. You'll notice we have a few different curtain wall types loaded into the project. We're going to do the first example with the design curtain wall. This is a simplified curtain wall that doesn't have recesses in it for the glazing channel. Its primary use is for early design where you don't need that level of detail. So I drew a section of curtain wall. I'm going to type in CG or go up to the curtain grid tool. And let's just put two, two mullions. We want to door in this location. The first thing you need to do is remove the base mullion. So you unpin it and delete it. Next thing you want to do is swap out the panel. Highlight the panel. Type in door, and we want to double since we made a big opening. Could be a single, doesn't matter. And there's two choices here, or four actually. System is frame, we'll start with that. That means there's no secondary frame. Many curtain wall doors have a secondary frame. We'll talk about that in a second. So we pick that one, it swaps out. And you'll see, okay, I've got two doors really far apart from each other. That looks funny. All you have to do is tab select till you get that curtain grid. Choose the move tool and grab the endpoint to endpoint. And now you have a door that looks like you'd want it to in plan. If you need to move the location of this whole door assembly, you tab select onto each of the curtain grids and now you can move that whole assembly wherever you need to move it to. Now we need to see it in section. So we're gonna put a section in. Because I'm in a design view, I need to use a design section. If you worked in a different type of view, you wouldn't need to do this, but because of the view I'm in, I'm gonna need to use a design section. Otherwise it'll disappear due to the view template settings. So now I go to section and I see, okay, my door is sitting there, but I want it to have a mullion in the head. So I'm going to type in CG for curtain grid, or I could again go up to the architecture tab, curtain grid. You'll notice what Revit does is it assumes the panel above should be the same as the panel below. That's not the case. We don't want a door on top of our other door. So we're going to type in glass and we're going to choose should have just typed in GLA, glazing, and we'll put our insulated glazing back on top. So now I have a curtain wall that has a door, but it's too high. Same thing we did in plan. I'm going to grab that grid, and I'm going to move from the, that point to there. Now I should have a system that makes some sense to us. And if I did not want mullions on the other sides, I could grab that grid line and remove the segments from the other side. I hope that helps for double curtain walls. I'm going to save this video and do another one.